Hello, good evening, everyone. So, um, my name is Christian, and I'll be tutoring you guys for FS113 at OSA. So, um, due to the constraints we have in time and venues, we have to um, make some of the tutorials available online to maximize efficiency. So, um, I'm very sorry we won't be able to make proper videos for you guys, but um, I'm very, very sure that we will be able to make the most out of the data that we have. So um, I'm going to be keeping the videos as short as possible and um, I'll be keeping it as basic as possible to um, ensure that you actually comprehend what um, is being taught. So the course is not a difficult one, trust me. It's a, it's a course where it's the only A I had in year one. So at least if somebody like me could have A. <laughs> so it, it, it's just it's not trust me. So, um, let's get to it. I'm going to be doing introduction today, then um, in subsequent videos, we're going to be taking other concepts like um, loops and whatever. And the videos will be majorly visual basic. Um, physical classes will um, we'll be doing most of the other stuff in physical classes. So um, let's get to it. So as I said, we are going to be doing introduction in this video. So, introduction to visual basic, uh, to visual basic. So, um, anywhere you see VB on the internet, basically it's a um, visual basic. So, VB is like uh, the short form of visual basic. It was first released in 1991. Um, it's a computer lang uh, programming language that was um, developed by Microsoft, and it's very user friendly. I think second to Python. Python is far more user-friendly than VB will ever be, but um, Visual Basic was designed so that um, novices and advanced um, programmers can get to work with the same um, tool. So it's, um, it's a third generation event-driven programming language. Now, what do I mean by event-driven programming language? An event-driven programming language is um, a programming language that focuses on events. For example, if you take a good look at my screen now, if I click on this file, you can see it's giving me all these options over here. So basically, the program over here is patiently waiting for me to, to, like, to do something. What I want to do might be just to click on this. It might just be to click on this. It might just be to hover. You see, I hovered on this thing now, and it's telling me open version history. So this is like me hovering on this thing now. It's changing the color of the background, like event-driven. Something will happen for something else to happen. That's what you call event-driven programming. So um, it evolved from the earlier DOS version called BASIC. So BASIC is like the, um, what do you call it again? Predecessor of um, uh, Visual BASIC. So BASIC itself means beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code. And um, Basically, you can create any program at all with, uh, with a Visual Basic. Any program at all, you can create it with Visual Basic. So depending on your objective, for example, um, let me say you want to create something as simple as a BMI calculator, where you have your weight and your height, and you get the body mass index. So uh, something as you can also build something as complex as a payroll system, or maybe in the point of sales um, software, something as complex as that. So, like I said, it's all, it's all depending on your objective. And um, finally, you can create both com console applications and GUI applications with um, Visual Basic. So by GUI, I mean graphics user interface. Anywhere you see GUI on the internet or anywhere, it means graphics user uh, interface. So, um, let me do a bit of explanation here. Um, a, com a console application runs in um, something like a console. If you have seen the command prompt, of, the command prompt of Windows, an application like the Windows command prompt, um, I think on Linux we call it terminal. So um, I don't know what it's called in Mac. So I don't use a Mac. I use a Windows. So. Now, um, for example, I can do something like Python. This is another programming language in um, So I can say I do maybe one plus one. You see, it's giving me two. This is like, this is something like, this is what a console application looks like. I can say exit as well. 
our friend, and if you close here, you um, the console temporary. So I can just come here. I can do what, whatever I like. This is just something what a console application looks like, something like this. Then a GUI application is an application that has an appealing graphics user interface, something like the calculator on your Windows. You can see you can type in 12 plus 99 equals to 111. So the possibilities are endless, just to. Um, I guess that will be that will be the end of the introduction for now. So I'll be I'll be sending us more videos um, on on Visual Basic. So if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, the link to this document will be in the description of the video, so you can always go back to um, check for one or two stuff. So thank you very much for staying to the end of the video. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. Um, like I said, um, you can always ask your questions um, in the comment section. And you can also, uh, we'll be having classes, so you can also ask in class as well. So thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.